How much can your stuff do? Many of our houses are full of stuff, but we don't really know how much that they can do. So let's see how much they can do with the host of our new segment, Will It? <coughs> Dollar General is closed. Welcome to The Weekly, I'm Terry Glazer. Social media is abuzz after reports that a death row inmate has accidentally bumped into Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, who was visiting the Kentucky State Penitentiary last Tuesday. Sources report that the death row inmate lost his balance, physically collided with the governor, and then proceeded to say to the man, pardon me, sir. Horses, 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 horses. We all have a lot of stuff in our homes, but how much stuff can our stuff actually do? Connor Dame is going to find out more in our new segment, Will It? CDs change the way we transfer music from the discount bin to the iTunes library. And although they've now been replaced by vinyl records, this vintage technology can still do some pretty cool stuff. I've got an old CD player, a slice of value brand bologna, and a pair of scissors. And we're going to finally answer that burning question. Will it? Remarkable. Next up, we have endocrinologist Dr. Brian Hale breaking down some of your favorite teas in The Breakdown. Hi, I'm Brian Hale. I'm an endocrinologist. I treat patients with type 2 diabetes at Baptist Health in Paducah. And today we're going to be breaking down some sweet teas, so let's get started. It starts with a selection of only the very best tea leaves, brewed with pure cane sugar and cool, clear water, and no preservatives. When poured over ice, it comes alive. All right, so I believe this tea is made out of high fructose corn syrup and citric acid. It may have some water in it, but I'm not sure. The thing about this tea is drinking a cup of it every day is kind of like cutting the brake lines to your pancreas. Seems fun at first, but eventually someone's going to be shelling out for a casket. And probably an attorney. With Gold Peak Real Brewed Tea, you always feel the real comforts of home. Gold Peak Real Brewed Tea, the taste that brings you home. All right, so the interesting thing about this tea is that it's only three fifty dollars at Walmart, but I believe a bottle of insulin will cost you somewhere around $300, depending on your insurance. All right, so uh, that's that's the that's the tea that killed my father. All right, it's garbage. All right, they make that out of kidney failure and and evil. All right, you take it down. No, it's you take it down. I don't want to see it. you take it down. All right, I don't want to see it on my screen. All right, the only time I want to see it is when it's being fed lukewarm in a. Bed Panda Terrace, do you understand me? Um, you get that off my screen. So, I can't stand we, seeing we, that. We've, we've got a band. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we've got a band. Uh, we've got uh, a studio band, uh, Yogurt Mama, in to today to I'm perform uh, f for you. Uh, our studio band is going to perform for you. Grandpa Countertop. 
by the toilet boundaries. Just trying to be professional. <laughs> Inimitable. The bill, 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 bill. Sorry. I fucked that up. If President John F. Kennedy died for our sins, would we wear sniper rifles around our necks? Welcome to The Weekly, I'm Terry Glazer. An ancient warlord has risen from the ashes of his once great empire to wreak havoc upon our fragile world yet again. His name is Carjurus, and officials warn that no matter what he's saying about reasonably priced automobiles, it is nothing more than a front for ruthless global domination. Braxton, Carson, quit tugging on your father's real tree jacket and get over here. Do you want Mountain Dew or Coke? I said, do you want Mountain Dew or Coke? We all have a lot of stuff in our houses, but it isn't enough. We need to buy more stuff so that our stuff can do stuff and finally make us happy once and for all. Connor Dame has more on this week's installment of, will it?
They fold and they hold. Photocopiers are like tacos that you can see. But just how good are their eyes? We're going to find out today and answer that burning question. Will it? First, we're going to take out our hot dog. Apply mayonnaise. And fire up our scanner. It will. Inimitable. Some people may claim that our region is a desolate void boasting only black and yellow convenience stores and the occasional barn quilt. Don't believe their lies. We matter. We have connections. We ask local residents to tell us more. Some people don't know that Johnny Depp is from Kentucky. I heard Pat Sajak, the Pat Sajak, went to Murray State. Here in Murray, you know, it's filled with so many wild But you see this one time here in The thing I love most about this community. I looked on the Cracker Barrel website and they showed our location right here in Calvert City. There was this one time that Joe Pesci actually ended up on the Callaway County Wikipedia page looking up some golf stuff. Get like three, four bars out here on your cell phone. Tim Mastay is from right here in Murray, and according to prophecy, he will return, and we will finally get an olive garden. I heard that Bill Murray's last name is Murray. There you have it, straight from the horse's PR department. And joining us in the studio this week with their cover of Sometimes the Biscuit Takes You by Rumble Tummy, another dollop of Yogurt Mama.
It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even directly make sense. Einstein had no idea what he was talking about. Nobody does. Nobody knows anymore. <sighs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh. What should you expect this time on the weekly? I expect the sun to rise tomorrow, but that does not make it so. Welcome to the Weekly. I'm Terry Glazer. Nothing happened this week, except my check engine light came on last night. So I took it to the shop where the guy told me it would be a couple days before he could get me in. I tried to get a drink from the vending machine, but it wouldn't take cash. It opened up instead and spat out a little floating nutcracker who just followed me around and whistled quietly. He had round, wooden, unblinking eyes, and he kept saying he knew where my parents were and that he would follow me forever. I thought he might be afraid of the ocean, so I bought a one-way ticket to Madrid. The nutcracker started whistling louder and louder, and his eyes kept getting bigger and bigger, so I, I ran as fast as I could to the airport, and the lady at the terminal told me that the test results came back and that I was definitely pregnant, and that's when I woke up here. <clears throat> we all have a lot of stuff in our homes, but what if that stuff has been keeping secrets about how much stuff it can do? Connor Dame has more in this week's installment of, will it? If you're anything like me, then your cell phone has died. Now that may seem like the end of the line. Hasta la vista, sayonara, de atolad. But what if I told you we could cheat death and keep watching vines until Jesus comes back to reclaim his chosen? And we're going to finally answer that burning question. Will it? First, we connect our cell phone to a charging cable. Then, we connect that to our power bank. Then, we wait. It's been a few minutes, so let's check on it. 200%? Wow. <laughs> Vines. Uh, it will. <clears throat> 21. Infallible. Next up, we have legitimate astral observer Sergey Grimley breaking down some space stuff on the breakdown. Hi, I'm Sergey Grimley. I'm a level two paraplanetary para observer at the Para Scientific Institute of Identity and Purpose. And today, I'm going to be breaking down some astral movements for you guys. So, this is some footage of the fourth moon of Neptune, and it actually determines how quickly your fingernails grow during your birth month. I look at this moon quite often in my chart alignment research. And this might surprise you, but this is actually the second smallest sun in our solar system. I always tell Capricorns to watch this guy's movements to decide whether or not you should wear your seatbelt. If Mercury's in Harkonnen, it's a no-go. This, uh, this is, uh, this is, this is a, a ver this is the Taurus, this is, uh, it appears to be tat tattooing in retrograde in, uh, maybe like a, like a, like a Virgo Cancer, a sometimes Scorpio descending upon Aquarius. Seattle Space Needle, this is, when you're looking at the stars, this is where the stars are. This is actually, I think what it is, it's a Cancer, it's a Virgo Cancer Stage 3. A Virgo Cancer Stage 3, and Nancy Reagan has no idea that, uh, that Tatooine and Hoth are combining together. Um, or maybe they're not, and maybe, maybe, the sun is, maybe the sun is coming at us right now, and we don't even know what's going on. Tip of the moon at the, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The sun's going into retrograde. <clears throat> Computer Mercury and simulation. Oh, Neptune's Computer. on fire. Neptune's on. And simulation. Neptune's seppuku. I'll commit seppuku. And simulation. 
This is Com this is computer end simulation. Star dog. End it. I can't. Computer end simulation. End. Who is it? Computer dot Hello? file exe end. to go home and read my chart. Uh, I just want it to all make sense. Did I do good for Papa Grant? That was good, but Grant fucked up. Chick-fil-A doesn't care if you're gay, as long as you keep buying chicken. Scarf down a sandwich, and I think they'll manage just fine as your arteries thicken. Welcome to The Weekly. I'm Terry Glazer. Tensions are high this week after state officials in Ohio accused Paducah residents of making threatening phone calls to the state capitol in Columbus. One transcript reads, prepare to be eliminated, evaporated, barbecued, and quilted. Soon there will be no Ohio, only new Paducah. Paducah city officials deny any involvement in the calls saying that they most likely came from Chief Paduk himself. They added that any aggressive actions taken by Ohio will be met tenfold with a raging riverfront fury. In other news, a major asbestos producer has announced that it has plans to build a new factory in Murray, Kentucky's Industrial Park. The factory is expected to bring hundreds of jobs to the region, as well as new economic growth. CEO Lou Seifer had this to say. just been told that construction on the plant has been canceled after someone in Murray was heard saying the word union. Bystanders claim the word was said in the context of marriage, but the company isn't taking any chances. We all have a lot of stuff in our kitchens, and some of that stuff is dried leaves. Connor Dame is going to find out if those leaves can make us more free in this week's installment of Will it? Will it? Will it? Now that Britain has successfully removed itself from Europe, it's time to see if we can remove Britain from us. 
and we're going to declare independence from that burning question. Will it? First, I'm going to drink this glass of sweet ice-cold tea mm, to purge the queen from my cells. Then I'm going to go over to this board and write the words color and gray to see if it worked. Let's get started. There's no sugar. And it's hot. Unfortunately, my dear chaps, it will not. Now if you'll excuse me, I must take my dessert. Unconscionable. Next up we have Professor Livingston Jones with the weather. We haven't seen much activity on the milk and bread front this month, which is most unusual, but expect the shortage of toilet paper sometime in the next few weeks. In the short term, we're seeing a 40% chance of bottled water running out by this evening. We're also quite out of biscuits, er, uh, cookies? But the frozen aisle has no shortage of chips, er, uh, fries. We're also nigh bare on blimey Dodger Curons, but that'll be just a pound and a stick up the Thames. God save the Queen. Thank you, Dr. Professor, sir. Up next, we have yogurt ma- <laughs> ah! No! No, please! I have, I have a family! I, I have kids! You, you can have them! No, not me! No! 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 <laughs> Will it? <laughs> I don't know. Will it? <laughs> Welcome to the Weekly. I'm Terry Glazer. I'd like to announce that in two weeks' time, this program will be coming to an end due to poor ratings and because Hannah doesn't get it. Since this show was all I had going for me in my life, I've decided to delete my Instagram account. I'll delete it right here on the show. I, I swear to God. You know, I, 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 haven't, I haven't pooped in, in three weeks. I'll fucking do it. And, and then I'll start a cooking channel. Is this what you want? I, I, I'll, I'll just start cooking and eating and, and pooping. And Welcome to the Weekly. I'm Andy Booker. Are your teens using the coronavirus to get high? And how scared should you be? According to a recent study by the DDE, yes and very. The data confirms what many had already suspected. Teenagers are using the coronavirus to get high because they belong to the worst generation. Researchers are still trying to determine who raised them and why this is the first generation of teenagers to behave poorly. Make sure to tune in next week for our follow-up story, how your teens are using the coronavirus for sex and why you should be scared. Here at The Weekly, we consider you family, and nothing is more important to us than your health and safety. That's why we're doing everything we can to keep your business. If you have been negatively impacted by the coronavirus situation, please feel free to keep watching this program. And go to cdc.gov or whatever. We all have a lot of stuff with us here in our houses, but what are your teenagers doing with it? 
Connor Dame finds out more on this week's installment of Will It. Terry Glazer isn't the only one with nothing left to lose. It will. And now a verse of comfort in this trying time. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the Lord of the earth. If anyone desires to harm them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. If anyone desires to harm them, he must be killed in this way. They have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every plague as often as they desire. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up out of the abyss will make war with them and overcome them. Thank you, Brother Mike, for those words of spiritual solace. We are joined this week by musical guest Yogurt. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for new videos. Welcome to the Weekly. I'm Terry Glazer. As I record this, I'm obsessed by the thought that I may be the last living man in Callaway County. Ever since Andy Booker took that job at Channel 5, I've been hiding out in the TV studio, an island of set lights cut off from the world by empty hallways and quiet streets. Whatever war rages on is confined mostly to the hospitals and grocery stores. Outside it's calm, almost eerily so. For the healthy, our only wake-up call is the sound of 401ks plummeting towards the earth at terminal velocity. I turn on the news and all of a sudden we're assessing the damage in human casualties instead of stock dives. Things must be bad. I turn off the news. I think about my parents. 
They grew up waiting for an orange glow to appear on the horizon at any moment. Maybe while they were sleeping, maybe in the middle of the day. Day. What day is it? Do days exist? Is it Monday? Friday? I have nowhere to be and nothing to do. Does time exist when there are no 5 a.m. alarms to jolt us out of bed? I wake up to a hot studio lights these days. I pretend it's the sun. Gently climbing across an empty blue sky, silent and warm. The birds also show restraint. Chirping in shifts and not all at once. Whenever you're ready, they say. Stay in bed. There's no rush. Was there ever any rush. The longer this goes on, the less I remember. I feel my scruffy, unkempt beard, and I try to connect it to a TV host who, until recently, read prattle from a teleprompter every week on Monday. We have a special guest this week. Turn to camera two. Oh god. Where's it all gone? The guests. The cameraman, the prattle. Did they ever exist? Am I Terry Glazer? 